And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Jonathan Lund, who writes, Hey, John, hope you had a great weekend. I did have a great weekend. Thank you, Jonathan. I absolutely loved Free Guy and was so pleased to see that it was number one at the box office for a second weekend running, bringing in $18.8 million, dropping only 34% from its opening weekend, which is a remarkable hold. This is easily the best second weekend hold out of all of the summer films this year. Why do you think Free Guy had such a great second weekend hold when all of the other films suffered massive drops? Thank you, and keep up the great work. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Jonathan. And by the way, uh, Devin uh, Pangricker sends in a Super Chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, Devin. Um, Yeah, let's talk about Free Guy for a second, shall we? So you guys know that I have been thrilled that like I saw three movies in a row that I loved. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I saw three movies in a row that I loved. So that was like... uh, what was it? it? Was Suicide Squad, Free Guy, and then Shang Chi. Free Guy, of course, is a movie that had like half the budget, practically, of Suicide Squad. wasn't Isn't one of these movies that looks like it would traditionally do super well at the theaters because it wasn't based on any existing IP. It's not a video game movie. It's not based on any video game, any comic book. It's not a reboot. It's not a sequel. Nothing like that. It's it looks like a movie about a guy who's a character inside of a video game. But it ended up making nearly $30 million in its opening weekend, which by far exceeded their expectations. Now, the big question, though, was going to be, what was the second weekend drop going to be like? Because generally speaking, I've told you guys this before, that where you want to see your second weekend drop is between 50 and 60%. If your movie drops 50 to 60% on its second weekend, That's a decent, acceptable, okay range. Like if your movie drops 52%, because we live in a culture that more and more over the last five years, a movie going culture where more and more people go to see a movie when it first comes out, right? More and more. It didn't used to be that way 15 years ago, but more and more and more movies make the bulk of their money right near the beginning of when they get released. So the question, so a 50 to 60% drop is okay. If you drop over 60%, that becomes concerning. Like Suicide Squad drops 70, 71%, something like that, right? Even though the movie was fantastic. Something like Jungle Cruise, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie, dropped 55%, 56% around there somewhere, right? That's that's actually, that's decent. That's That's not bad. That's not bad. Free Guy only dropped 33 and a half percent wrap your heads around that free guy only dropped 33 and a half percent even in pre-pandemic era that number is remarkable That is remarkable. Listen, the good folks over at Deadline say the following. Showing some amazing holding power, Disney slash 20th Century Studios Free Guy eased 34% for a three-day of $18.8 million, putting its 10-day total at $58.8 million domestically. Percent-wise, that is the best second weekend hold for any wide-release film this summer. Among those Ryan Reynolds movies that opened north of $20 million in their first weekend, Free Guy clocks as the best second weekend hold of the actor's career. All right, think about that. Of all the Ryan Reynolds films, at least the ones that, you know, had any note of Ryan made any money at all, Free not Deadpool, not Deadpool 2, not any of his other films, Free Guy is now the best second weekend percentage-wise of any Ryan Reynolds film. Yeah, I mean, other Ryan Reynolds films have had bigger numbers on second weekend, but not this low percentage of a drop. That is a massive testimony, I think, really to, number one, the quality of the film, but number two, and most importantly, the word of mouth. Because people went and saw Free Guy, and those who did raved about it. They raved about it. People like me, people like a lot of you guys raved about it. And so a lot of people went back. Not only did people go back to watch it for a second viewing, they took new people with them. And some people who didn't go first week and said, oh, actually, that that Free Guy movie that only looked okay, a lot of people are saying it's great. Maybe we should give it a shot. And they went out and gave it a shot. And it only takes a 33% drop, 33, 34% drop, which is really remarkable. 
the question becomes, why does Free Guy only drop 33% and able to, to, to haul in almost $20 million on its second weekend when another great, widely loved from the people who saw it, you know, big word of mouth movies like A Suicide Squad was only able to manage to, to, to pull in a 71% drop from its opening weekend? I think the answer is obvious, guys. Streaming. Suicide Squad was on HBO Max the same time it was in theaters, which absolutely hurt its opening weekend. But most importantly, it killed its second weekend because, number one, most people go to see movies they're going to go see in this opening week anyway. But number two is, who's going to go see it for a second time in theaters? Most people I know who saw and liked Suicide Squad, I think actually everybody I know, I don't know a single person that went back to the theater to see Suicide Squad for a second time because they saw it the first time in Suicide Squad, loved it, got that big screen experience, but for their second and third viewings, they just watched it at home on HBO because it was just there, right? And so Warner Brothers lost a ton of money. They lost a ton of money. And by the way, uh, Kevin Cow sends in a super chat badge as does zombie TV sends in like a $20 super chat badge. Thank you. Zombie TV. Appreciate that man very much. Um, as does, uh, Jury Mannion sends in uh, a super chat badge as well. Thank you guys. And, uh, Martin Dale, uh, Mick Lamont sends one in too. Thank you everybody for that. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah. So with free guy though, which Disney stuck to their guns on this film, kept it as a theater, only a theatrical release, only movie. And now they're reaping the benefits. Now they're reaping, this thing made almost $20 million in its second weekend, 18 point something million dollars in its second weekend, only a 33 to 34% drop. That is crazy. I believe the main reason for that, besides the fact that it's a wonderful movie and was well received, it's obvious. One did the streaming route and left a whole ton of money on the table and one stuck as theatrical only. So people who wanted to see it a second time or bring new friends, they went to go see it on a second weekend and it did really well. So yeah. I, and I couldn't be happier for them, guys. I really couldn't be happy. This is a joyous, wonderful, delightful, entertaining movie. Top 10 movie of the year by the time the, the, the year ends? Probably not. But it's a just a delightful movie. Wildly entertaining. Do check it out if you get a chance, guys. Uh, and that is just, it's, it's just great. And I'm so happy for its success. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think? About Free Guy's record-breaking small drop from week one to week two. It's the best for any Ryan Reynolds film. It's the best of the summer so far. Clearly streaming and lack of streaming had something to do with it. How do you guys think about this? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.